Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today is March 13th, 2018. To start off the news on a bad note, even though we all knew it was coming, Agfa Vista is gone. Um, Poundland in the UK used to sell this film for one pound in those stores. And a few months ago, just started discontinuing it. It became harder and harder to find. And knowing that Fuji had pulled some of the Superior film out of the market, it was pretty much obvious that Agfa Vista, which was not made by Agfa, was going to get discontinued. But yeah, recently we've seen an article by Japan Camera Hunter talking about Agfa Vista, Vista being long gone. So if you were one of those people shooting a cheap Agfa Vista, which did pretty well, now you're going to shift either to the remaining Superior films from Fuji or go to Kodak on Kodak Plus, uh, Color Plus, sorry, Kodak um, Gold or other films like that. So sad day, but we know Fuji is slowly discontinuing films and this is not new to anyone. On another note, there's also kind of a sad news. Um, there's been a woman found or the photography of uh, the body of work of a woman found in Russia, uh, which they're calling the Russian Vivian Mayer. She had over 30,000 negatives, pictures and whatnot. Uh, the story says something like uh, she was supposedly kind of humiliated and said that as a woman, she wouldn't be worth it to be a photographer. So out of shame or scared, she didn't show her work. And she, she took a lot of pictures. And these pictures have been recently found by, I think, the daughter of her. And she started an Instagram account. She started a website and they're scanning and developing her film. And at least today we get to see someone else's work. Uh, very, very big body of work from Russia. So I'll leave the link below and um, I hope you guys enjoy it and do share pictures. Don't feel like anyone can tell you you're less than someone else. Uh, just put yourself out there. Be ready to hear good and bad, but just keep on doing it if it's what you love. Also on a different, very different note, we have the Leica Zero um, camera auction. It sold for the maximum uh, price paid for a piece of photography equipment, or at least camera that I know of. It's been 2.4 million euros, almost 3 million uh, dollars. And uh, yeah, if you're into that kind of stuff, I left the link below, but one of those rare collectibles from Leica. As I said last week, Ilford's been releasing videos and uh, there's been a video on developing film and now there's a video on printing in the darkroom. So if you're interested in seeing a very well made and simple video uh, from Ilford, you can check it out below. Uh, on another note from last week's video where I said to be careful with the squeegee and whatnot, everyone's been pretty much in the same um, place with the um, squeegee. But I do have a note by Jobo USA, which I'm gonna read textually. Um, Never put the film reels in wedding agent. That causes wedding agent to coat and bond to the plastic, leaving a thin film of goop, which over time will absorb contaminants and can lead to processing problems over time. Always unload your roll directly into a, a vat of wedding agent, then hang to dry, squeegee or not. So thank you Jobo USA for letting me know this. Uh, I was written personally about this. I've always put my reels on the wedding agent. I know it was not supposed to be good. So far I can't see any issues, but I do know the rec recommended um, procedure is what uh, Jobo USA is saying here. So beware, try to do that. I think I'm gonna shift to not putting my reels in the wedding agent from now on. Um, this is, you know, being a bit of a notice and uh, made me conscious about it. So yeah, hope you guys learned something from that too. Um, in other news, we have the Film Lab app on iOS. There's the release is 0.3 beta. Um, still for us Android users, no news yet, but soon we hope to have that 0.3 beta to start doing this. If you don't know what Film Lab app is, app is it's an app to scan your film with your phone. It won't give you huge resolution, but it's something fun to share quickly with friends like I do or through WhatsApp or Messenger, or we put up an in Instagram, which resolution is not a big issue. But yeah, I hope this comes to an end and we can see the final product, because, which I'm very excited. Um, then we have an update from also uh, the Kickstarter campaign from Intrepid on the 8x10. As I said from the film holders, uh, I think a few weeks back, 
Uh, film holders are starting to be into production. Problem solved about the light leaks on the film uh, seal um, or light seal. And now we have an update because they've had a problem with the um, with the provider of the ground glass, the 8x10 one in the US, which is no longer going to be making them. So they finally invested on a proper machine to grind glass and they will be grinding their own glass, not by hand like they've been doing till now, but with a machine. They have a bunch of 8x10s that are basically assembled, just waiting for that glass to be able to ship. There's also an update on shipping schedules depending on your backing number. Um, so do check it out on the link below. In good news, we have FOMA Pan Reach Retro Pan 320 coming in medium format, so in 120 format. Um, the news comes through Photo Impex, which is a store here in Europe. They also make film through Adox. And very good news to see that someone that actually makes film is going to come out with one of their one of their emulsions in medium format. So if you're a fan of FOMA Retro Pan 320, uh, I actually developed some this weekend and I have to check to uh, see how it looks. Uh, you're going to be happy about this um, piece of news. Also coming from Mint, we have uh, first an update on their website where they talk about the filter thread. They talk about their batteries. It's going to be taking double A's, which is really good for all of us because double A's are really normal to find and easy to find. And they explain a bit more about the camera. It's a very small update, but it's slowly nice to see what they're releasing. And also from Mint, uh, we have the first review and I quote it like that because it's uh, Mijonju. Uh, from Japan got a pre-production um, camera so it's a review but of course it's a pre-production so you got to take that into account he went out and shot and talked all about it how it works aperture how the film load um, how the rangefinder separate from the viewfinder how the meter works great video I highly recommend if you're interested in this mint uh, RF 70 which I'm very excited after seeing the the video by Mijonju and um, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. I'm terrible at pro um, pronouncing things properly. But yeah, uh, exciting news about the rangefinder Instax wide camera from Mint. And also bad news, we have the Rarapan discontinued. This comes from Freestyle Photo News. And uh, Rarapan, if you were wondering what it was, was a black and white emulsion cut down to 127 um, format. 127 format is that format between 35 and uh, 120, it works on those Rolleiflex babies, Yashica 44s and such. Um, they also in the comments from that post said there was some kind of secret uh, something coming. So maybe you want to go there and talk to Freestyle Photo and pull their legs, see if they'll say something more. But so far, uh, this film is discontinued. It was made in Japan, ISO 100. I kind of get a feeling it must have been Acros from Fuji cut to 127, but we'll never know right now. So yeah, that's all for this week's news. As always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any information or any questions, uh, you can send an email to the email below or leave a comment on the comment section below. See you next week.